Now with 7 First Alert Weather, this is 7 Eyewitness News at 530. Authorities in Elma are digging into a solution now to what was a stormy situation. It's been about, well, a little more than a month now, but the big November storm still very fresh in everyone's mind, especially in the towns and the villages that really had to tackle a massive cleanup. One of those towns hit the hardest, making sure now it's prepared if it ever happens again. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller. Keith, Elma is in the middle of Erie County and the middle of the snow belt. The town, which saw more than seven feet of snow in some places, has now dipped into state money to put special rescue equipment on the road. It looks like a souped up golf cart. Special traction helps this vehicle plow through feet of snow. So it's got two wheel drive and four wheel drive. We're currently a four wheel drive. We'll take a little ride over the top of the snow bank. Out of town aid brought similar UTVs to help Elma and its residents during the November storm. And because the town relied so heavily on these vehicles, it decided to purchase three of its own. We saw a need to, uh, uh, to take care of ourselves, and we did. Most of the storm roads in Elma were impassable. Even snowmobiles and four wheelers had a hard time getting around. Residents that needed either prescription drugs or medical treatment, dialysis, um, and our Jamison Road Fire Hall um, assisted in the delivery of a baby using one of those vehicles. And this machine will transport six people. Uh, we've also have a a. Um, area in the back where we can put a stretcher. But even so, some are not in favor of the nearly $60,000 purchase. Councilmember Thomas Fallon voted against the spending, telling the Elmer Review he believes it was an irresponsible purchase. It was not a frivolous purchase by any means. Number one, it was a state of emergency. Number two, it was purchased off a state bid. And number three, we took a poll vote of the uh, of the council. The town says these vehicles are multi-use devices. So we'll be able to travel off-road to put out any type of brush fires, um, anything in the woods or off site into a field. And we just learned Western New York lawmakers, along with members of the New York State Thruway Authority and the State Department of Transportation, will host a roundtable discussion regarding the November storm. That discussion, Friday, January 9th, will be open to the public.